today we're going to be fitting a knee immobilizer. Uh, one of the first things that you want to make sure that you do is uh, check the mo mobilizer to make sure it's the right size. Uh, they come in all kinds of different shapes and sizes. This particular one actually allows you to adjust the knee immobilizer in terms of length. So if you push in these buttons, this will slide out to make it uh, either shorter or longer, depending on uh, the length of your uh, athlete's leg. Uh, most of them also come in widths. Uh, this one is a little bit more universal, so it kind of wraps around and it takes care of uh, any particular width. So that's a, a nice advantage of this particular one. That's fairly adjustable in terms of size. Uh, I've set it at a, what's called a medium setting, which is gonna be appropriate uh, for his uh, particular leg. Uh, one of the big features that you want to just make sure is that the back of the new mobilizer has a little bit of a curve into it and that's going to go directly behind the popliteal space of the knee. So our injured athlete is uh, has an injured knee so what we want to do is we want to make sure that he isn't able to flex or extend his leg so this is going to fully, fully immobilize um, his particular leg. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to just open up all of the straps so we can place the knee immobilizer underneath his leg. Generally speaking, it's helpful to have a partner to be able to uh, raise his leg so um, it doesn't hurt him, but in this situation, I think we're gonna be okay. We're going to place the knee immobilizer again with that curved place uh, right behind the popliteal space. We're going to fully secure the protective padding so that way it just uh, makes sure that it's comfortable uh, for the actual um, injured athlete. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to secure the straps, making sure that they're nice and secure, not too terribly tight to cut off and disrupt any circulation, but enough so again that it makes sure that the brace is fairly secure, snug, doesn't move around and keeps the knee in an immobilized position. So once it's on, just kind of want to test it, make sure that it fully immobilizes his knee. Uh, this is a challenging brace to actually walk on. Uh, so one of the next things that you might want to do is actually fit uh, your uh, athlete uh, for crutches so that way they can uh, definitely um, get to wherever they need to be. Generally, we typically only like to keep athletes in this for anywhere between 48 and 72 hours just to make sure everything calms down, make sure that the athlete is taken care of. Uh, but as long as it's snug, secure, and it feels okay, uh, we're all set.